And we are in line 61. I do apologize. I hadn't finished up Psalm 78. A lot of things had happened on in the past few days. And so we're going to go ahead and complete, Lord's willing, uh, Psalm 78. And um, so let's go into line 61. It says, And delivered his strength into captivity and his glory into the enemy's hand. And so where we left off last time, you know, Asaph was telling all the things that God, you know, the feelings of God, his emotions um, toward Israel. And so in looking at 60, well, first of all, 59, he said, when God heard this, he was furious and greatly abhorred Israel so that he forsook the tabernacle of Shiloh, the tent which he had placed among men, 61 and delivered his strength into captivity and his strength excuse me in his glory into the enemy's hand and so pretty much god would just he just he just threw it up he gave everything up and so but it does give us a reference scripture in judges 18 30 judges 18 30 Joshua Judges 1830 <clears throat> that says uh, then the children of Dan set up for themselves the carved image and Jonathan the son of Gershom the son of Manasseh and his sons were priests to the tribe of Dan until the day of the captivity of the land and so here it is another uh, example of when the Israelites were, or even like the tribes of uh, the, the tribes of Israel, whenever they were delivered or set away or set apart or uh, got away or something like that, instead of going and worship God, they taken the gods of of that land that they captured and worshiping those gods. And God just had enough of all of that. He really did. And so, so he delivered his strength into captivity and his glory into the enemy's hand. 62. He also gave his people over to the sword and was furious with his inheritance. So he also gave, these are the things he just gave, he gave up on them. Um, he also gave uh, his people over to the sword and was furious with them. And that sends us uh, to 1 Samuel 4.10. We read 411 already that talked about, um, you know, when it says, So the Philistines fought and Israel was defeated, and every man fled to his tent. There was a very great slaughter, and there fell of Israel 30,000 foot soldiers. Well, no, that's what I have to read, but then remember we talked about also the Ark of God was captured, and that's why the Ark of God was captured. Okay, because of 10. So the Philistines fought and Israel was defeated and every man fled to his tent. There was a very great slaughter and there fell of Israel 50,000 foot soldiers. And then remember we read that in um, for lines 60 and 61 of Psalm 78. Also the ark of God was captured and the two sons of Eli, Hophni, and Phinehas died. So, and we talked about their sex immorality outside of the church. Now, um, going back to Psalm 78, looking at uh, 63, line 63. The fire consumed their young men, and their maidens were not given in, in marriage. And so that sends us to Jeremiah 7, 34. Jeremiah 7 34 that says then I will cause to cease from the cities of Judah and from the streets of Jerusalem the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness so that that mirth is like rejoicing or gaiety uh, the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride for the land should be desolate and so God would just he's not allowing any marriages or anything young women to get married it just seems like 
it's the same thing that's happening right now we have a high rate of single women uh, this day and age and stuff like that we never know how that is um, is to why the reason behind all of that and so also it sends us to um, Jeremiah 16 9 16 9 uh, for thus says the Lord of hosts the God of Israel behold I will cause to cease from this place before your eyes and in your days the voice of mirth that means the voice of rejoicing and the voice of gladness the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride so God can you know take all of that away from us and then it also sends us to Jeremiah 25 10 that says uh, more of I will take from them the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride the sound of the millstones and the light of the lamp all right and so that means that take away that means cause to perish from them all right so let's pause here and pick it up in the next segment